Today we're going to be making bread and butter pickles. A friend at work gave me a bag full of pickles, pickling pickles, which I thought was fantastic. They were free. I mean, yeah, I don't know how many pints this is gonna make, but it's gonna make quite a bit. And also I'm gonna give some back to him for being so uh, generous. And I am very grateful to receive these pickles. And yes, it is a bit of work, but you know something? You have to be grateful for the things you get in life. So come on over and let's just get started. So to start, if you have a mandolin, make use of your mandolin. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get one of these on Amazon. But if you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. You can slice these cucumbers by hand. It's just going to take a heck of a lot longer. So to start this, we're going to take these lovely pickling cucumbers. I wash them so they're clean. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop this little bit off here. Just like that. To do this by hand, you want like quarter inch thick slices. Something like that. Like that thick right there. Let me make sure you can see that. Now to use the mandolin, you're also going to be you're also gonna need onions. And I'm gonna slice one of those up right now just to show you what that's gonna look like. Just gonna take this off. Once again, save these. You can make stock with these, put them in a zip ziploc bag and pop it in the freezer. Or you can just throw it in your compost pile. Basically just make half moons. If you have small onions, you can actually make them like look really cool. You can do like round rings. It looks really cool in the jar. Right. This is a mandolin and it goes in millimeters. But you know what I do sometimes? Just eyeball it. Do you want this like a quarter inch thick? That's way too thin, so I know I have to go down a bit. Let me see that. A little bit thicker. Wrong way. And that's all you're going to do. You just want to eyeball these. You want the thickness to be just about that. I want you to be able to see that, like that thick. Once again, they come to the safety guard. Please use the safety guard. Once again, safety guard, put that right there, and it just makes, it'll save your fingers. I have cut myself numerous times on this thing. So what you see in front of you is all those cukes with two large onions sliced. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna use the big canner. So we're gonna take all those cukes. There we go. Ooh. And all those onions. I'm gonna put them in this ginormous bowl here. This is my water bath canner. So to this, we're just gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of salt. You wanna use kosher salt, sea salt. You wanna use a salt that has nothing in it. What I mean nothing in it, you don't want any iodized because they have the anti-cake. I'm gonna take that salt, put it right over the cukes. And I'm just gonna take my hand, my hands are clean, and we're just going to coat the onions and the cucumbers with the salt. What the salt does is it draws a lot of that water out and it also changes the texture of these cucumbers. And these cucumbers smell really good. Take the rest of the salt, I'm just gonna sprinkle it all around. This might seem like an excessive amount of salt. You know there's recipes out there that say don't rinse your cucumbers? I always rinse mine to get the extra salt off. If you don't, they will be extremely salty. Put the rest of that in. Give it a stir. That's all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna let this sit for two to three hours. I'll come back in three hours and we're going to drain. I'm gonna show you the water that comes off these cucumbers. And then also, we're going to rinse these and we're also going to make that brine. So these have actually gone past the three hour mark. I think this is more like four or five hours. I got busy doing other stuff. But I did want to show you how much liquid came off these cucumbers. Look at that. Enormous, enormous amount. And it did change the texture. It made them like curly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the kitchen sink. We're going to drain these. And I always rinse mine. There's a lot of salt on these cucumbers and I want that salt off of them. 
So I'm gonna go over and do that and then we're gonna make the brine. I am finished rinsing off the cucumber and onion mixture. And it's in a pot over here to our left. Now we're gonna make the lovely brine for the pickles. And this is just your basic bread and butter pickle recipe. I'm gonna add three cups of vinegar. I'm using apple cider. You can, year, you can use white vinegar if you choose to do so. We're gonna go ahead and add five cups of sugar. Yes, this does seem to be a bit excessive, but it's not. Do you wanna take a whisk? Just wanna mix this around. We're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of mustard seeds. You're gonna add one tablespoon of turmeric powder. You're gonna add one and one half teaspoon celery seed. And I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of whole cloves. And what you're gonna do, you're just gonna mix this up and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, so we're coming up to a boil. What you wanna do now is you wanna add the cucumber and onion mixture to the brine. Let's see if we can stir this around a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fantastic. Oh man, you know something? I am so grateful a friend at work gave me these pickles. I mean, it's not gonna make a whole, whole lot, but you know something? Every time I have these pickles this winter and next summer, I'll think of that person that gave these to me, which is wonderful. There we go. Oops. Beautiful. Now we just want to bring this up to a boil. Then I've got the water bath canner on the stove too. The water is warm, but it's not going to be super hot. You don't want to place cold jars into boiling water. You might suffer from th thermal shock and they will crack. Knock on wood, I haven't had that happen yet. And let's hope it doesn't happen today. So it's coming up to a boil. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the heat off. Now we are ready to ladle these beautiful cucumbers into these jars. Look at this. I tasted one of these. Fantastic. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So I just wanted to give you a close up of what I'm doing. I'm using pint jars, the smaller mouth. These are not the wide mouth jars. This is the jar I'm opting to use. You're gonna need a funnel. You need a funnel and you need this handy dandy measuring device. It's kind of cool because it goes from one inch all the way up to a quarter inch. Now with these pickles, we want a half inch of head space. Let me get my bifocals in work in order here. That's three quarter. That's a half inch right there. You want the pickles below this mark, but I'll show you once we get rolling here. You're going to take your ladle with the, moist, the juice and everything else. You're just going to ladle these cucumbers right in here. And that's why you want that wide mouth um, funnel. What I like to do is do a whole bunch of them, how many do they think you're going to use, and then I go back and put the brine in. Take like a ladle full of pickles here, well cucumbers, they're not pickles yet. And you're going to have to help them in a bit, just like that. Whoa, that one's a bit over the top. Beautiful. I did end up with a few extras and I'm gonna pop these actually into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna put that one off to the side. I used the wide mouth just to distinguish between these. Put that off to the side, that's for my snacking this week. And you're gonna take that device and you're just gonna remove all the air bubbles. Go down the sides and just try to get all the air bubbles out of every one of these jars. Then the next step, and once again, you're going to take your measuring device and just go down. Like this one could be filled up a bit more. That one's good. That one's good. That one could use a bit more. Oops. A bit more. Because once again, you want a half inch head space. So I'm going to do, I'm going to steal from this jar right here. I'm just going to take a few of these pickles out and just put them in there. So we can meet that, that half inch head space. 
Once again, put that one off to the side. Now what I like to do, because this is a very sticky, sticky, sticky mixture. So what I like to do is use vinegar on a paper towel and go around these. Look at that. It gets all the sticky stickiness off the top. See, we even picked up a part of an onion there. And you're just going to use this vinegar cloth, well, paper towel, on each one of these. It's a very important step because if you don't wipe this and there's a food particle or a spice in between, it will prevent your jars from sealing properly. Now the next step is we need our little magnetic and we're just going to put, we're going to place the tops, whoo, the tops on every one of these. I still have hundreds of the old fashioned ones because I know there's new fangled tops where you don't have to do this. Nope, I'm sh short one. Let me just run and get one. And you're just going to put the tops on like this. You just want them finger tight. You don't want to over tighten these. All right, that one should be soft enough. Grab it, put it on. Take the lid off. There it is. That water's hot, but it's not too hot yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take those jars and we're just gonna put them in here, just like this. You wanna put them in this way because if you put them like, like close to every way, the, thing, the whole thing is gonna tip. This is the way I do it. All right, beautiful. There. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna lower this down into the water. There, and you want at least an inch of water, which is well over the amount of water. You're gonna put the lid on top, and I'm gonna put this on high. You wanna bring this to a boil, and you wanna boil this for 10 minutes. Once again, don't start the timer now. You want to start the timer when the water starts to boil. Let it boil for 10 minutes. You're going to have to adjust your heat. Then after it's done with the 10 minutes, you're going to let the jars shut the heat off and you're gonna let the jars sit in this water bath canner for five more minutes. The 10 minutes is up. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the stove off. Now we're gonna let this sit for five more minutes. Then we're gonna take the jars out and put them on the counter. It's been five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take this off. This is hot. Use a pot holder to get this off. Watch out for the steam and the dripping water. And we're going to take these jar lifters. I'm just gonna take each one out and I'm just gonna set it on the counter. I always put it on a sheet pan with a some kind of towel underneath. It just absorbs the water off the jars. And these are beautiful. This is gorgeous. These are really, really nice looking pickles. Now my recommendation I have one jar that I'm going to toss in the fridge, and I'll probably eat those, you know, this week, like with a sandwich or something like that. That's fine. But you want these to age a bit. You want these to, I mean, at least let them sit for a couple of weeks so the flavors can develop and they'll get very, very, very tasty. Not that they're not tasty right now, but give them a chance to age and you will, will be rewarded with wonderful flavors. It's the next morning, so what I like to do, remove all the rings from the jars, like that. Those I'm gonna keep on because I'm taking those to uh, the person that gave me these cucumbers. What I like to do is take a cloth and wipe off the top, wipe off the sides. You wanna clean your jars before you put these down in the basement or wherever you store them. Because any uh, like sugary or substance or anything like that, any I don't know, food particles or whatever, it will grow mold on the side of the jars. You don't want that. Not that it affects the inside. Forgot to tell you one important piece of information. You always want to write on the top or sticker, you use a piece of tape, whatever you want to do. I'm going to write bread and butter pickles. My handwriting is terrible, by the way, and I'm just going to put 919. I just put what it is and the date on these. You can use a piece of tape. I just use a Sharpie, write it right on there. 
Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notification button, and stay tuned for more videos.